So you've just bought a record player and you're looking for a good set of speakers to pair with it. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the three best starter speakers for getting the most out of your vinyl records. In my opinion, a great pair of speakers allows you to get the most out of your analog audio experience and hear more details in the music you already love. So I set out to compare some of the best starting speakers on the market and give a brief overview and some pros and cons of each. Now look, there's a lot of speakers out there with great bass and powerful woofers, but the reason I love listening to music on vinyl so much is for that crystal clear listening experience that makes you feel like you're literally in the room with the artist. So the number one thing I'm gonna be looking for when it comes to the sound tests is clarity. So I'm gonna give a brief overview and background on some of the different types of speakers and setups that are out there, but if you wanna get straight to my recommendations, take a look at the YouTube chapters down in the description below. So the basics here are pretty simple. In order for the speakers to actually generate sound, they need an amplifier. Now, most speakers on the market these days have an internal amplifier, and those are called powered speakers. And that's what you're gonna want in order to make things really simple for you. The other route is buying passive speakers, and that means you're gonna need to buy a separate amplifier in order to make the speakers <laughs> speak. It's a little bit more complicated and advanced, but the reason you would do it is because an external amp allows you to tune the speakers a little bit and find a sound signature that you like. There are other reasons as well, like cutting out excess resonance and leaving room for some bigger woofers. But again, it's a bit more complicated and we're not gonna get into that today. If you wanna see a video on that, let me know down in the comments below. Now let's talk the speakers. These powered speakers are all great because you can just plug them directly into the turntable and you're all set. For this list, I'm gonna be looking at the size and build, the sound quality, any extra features, and the overall value. Let's do it. First up are the Mika PB42X powered speakers. These are a great value at just over $100 USD. These speakers are my personal favorites out of all three due to their compact size and minimalist look. They have an all black design and are super lightweight. I also love the removable magnetic grills. The design makes them so easy to fit into your setup. I actually have the passive speaker versions of these and they're my go-to speakers at my desk for these reasons. One thing I don't like as much about the design is that the controls are all on the back side. So if you wanted to adjust, they're just not as reachable. In terms of sound quality, these are crystal clear. You hear everything. The spatial separation is fantastic. However, the bass response is rather limited. While drums are very punchy, it's the low end hum or rumble that is actually lacking. Their small size doesn't allow for the biggest woofers, meaning if you like music with a lot of bass, namely EDM or hip hop, these might leave you slightly in want of a little bit more. They are also super minimal in terms of features. The connection setup is super simple. You just plug and play. There's no extras here either, but they do come with a pair of auxiliary cables in the box and transparent speaker wires. Despite these trade-offs, I really dig these speakers for their design and basic utility. Oh, and there's no way to tune the sound at all, but I'll talk a bit more about that in our next speaker. The Edifier R1280 T and its Bluetooth older sibling, the R1280 DB, are the best-selling speakers on Amazon and for good reason. They're just about average in every way, but not in a bad way. Let me clarify. They are built at around a medium size for bookshelf speakers, just about on par with the Mikas. They come in only wooden finishes, so they're looking to fit into warmer color tones, but it should work for both home theater and desk setups. They're also easy to set up because the speaker wire ports use the clip mechanism rather than the twist cap mechanism of other speakers on this list. In terms of sound quality, these strike a great balance in clarity and bass response. They don't excel in either category, but they're right in the middle of what you would want. To my ear, they don't sound quite as clear as the Mika's, but it's not a total deal breaker. I do wish that these came in a black finish and I wish they had detachable power cables, but those aren't really big issues. I do like that the controls are on the side though, making them easier to reach if you need to adjust at your desk. To me, these are similar to the Mikas in a lot of ways, but they have slightly better bass response and slightly less clarity. What I do like though, is that these allow you to tune the sound signature just a bit with the treble and bass knobs on the side. This enables just a little bit of that extra low end rumble that you may want if you listen to a lot of bass heavy music. Just don't crank that bass knob up too high because you're gonna lose clarity and it might sound a bit muddy. 
At the time of recording, these start at about 120 or 150 USD for the Bluetooth version and offer the best overall value for the middle of the road setups. Honestly, these are what I'd recommend to most people looking to unlock their vinyl experience. But I did wanna talk about one more speaker option just in case you had a bit more cash to spare. I'm waiting for this motorcycle to go by. There's like a motorcycle in my building and he likes to hang out right out front of the building with the motorcycle on and just like shakes the whole place. It's kind of crazy. I truly wonder if the microphone picked that up. That'd be crazy. Now the Klipsch R51 PM start at about $300 MSRP, which are almost twice as much as the previous options. But they're really good. They're also gigantic. Take a look at this size. But this size allows for some incredible sound if you've got the space for them. I also love the black and copper tone finishing and extremely sharp edges. They can fit into almost any aesthetic. One other thing I love, similar to the Mikas, is the magnetic speaker grills, which allow for quick removal. In terms of sound, these have by far the best bass response and overall clarity of the bunch. They truly sound amazing. All of this size allows them the ability to get in larger tweeters and woofers and therefore create more sound. The low end is punchy and has all that rumble that you want without sounding too muddy. The instrument separation is perfect. Every note is crystal clear. There are no tuning knobs on this one, but I don't think you need them. One other important thing you might want to consider here is the upgradability. This is the only speaker set of the bunch that includes a subwoofer out port, allowing you to expand your setup in the future with a subwoofer and add even more bass. Oh, and it's also got Bluetooth compatibility, meaning you can cast from a Bluetooth turntable or phone to these, making them very multifunctional. The input options on these are the best in the bunch and they come with every cable you need. And they're rubberized black, so they'll fit cleanly into your setup. If you think these features are worth it to you and you're planning to upgrade or expand your setup in the future, then you can't go wrong with these features. Hopefully you've stuck around long enough to hear the other details, but if you're just here for a sound quality comparison, just know that this video won't be able to truly do the sound justice. That said, if you're just debating and you need something to put you over the edge, then take a listen to this. All right, that'll do it for this one. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for even more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Talking this much on camera, it dries out the mouth.